Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today it's going to be an ultra macro game here featuring Hero and Saksri. It's another RJB replay. Big surprise, I bet. Top left, it's going to be a red Protoss. It is Hero, not the Zerg player Hero, the Protoss player Hero. And in the bottom right, it is Saksri. So, Hero is currently a StarCraft II player who's earned $500,000 from playing StarCraft II. He is a GSL champion, which is an elite premier Korean-only tournament held about three or four times a year. And, uh, yeah, I, d I don't know if he's still playing Brood War, but the date on this replay is 2018, so maybe he was back then? I don't know! I honestly don't know. But yeah, like I said, an incredibly elite, probably the best Protoss player in the world right now for StarCraft II, and a Brood War player. He has no winnings and no earnings under his Brood War Liquipedia page, so I assume he's one of those players that started out in Brood War, StarCraft II came along, he went to it, he liked it, he stayed there. There are some people who did that, including Innovation, who went by Bogus in uh, StarCraft One. So Soxry, on the other hand, has lifetime earnings of about $30,000 in playing Brood War professionally, which is pretty good, honestly. I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is going to be good stuff. RJB replay, check him out. YouTube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. Hatch first in it at 11 supply. Here is Hero Gate first here. Er, here is Soxery. Man. Having a Protoss hero is throwing my brain off. I'll try to do better, okay? So it's a gateway first here from here, which means Zealots are in the future here on a hatch firsting Suxery. I'm gonna have to see some lings to defend it. Super duper annoying, but I don't know, especially because the probe scout had cross position first and found you super duper early. Boom, boom, boom. boom. So like I said, Zealot's on the way. You Forge Expand if you want to be economic and you don't want to defend against Zerg Aggression. You Gate Expand if you want to try to kill or slow down the Zerg Machine early. And that's exactly what Hero is doing here. Ah, good stuff. Good stuff. Expansion on the way next. Gate Expand timing. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Pool on the way, gonna finish fairly quickly. Zealots take a while to hoof it across the map, but they don't have the speed upgrade. This drone's keeping an eye on it, making sure it's actually coming over here. Third base is on the way here too, down south, which uh, might be a good target actually for the Zealot. Look at this probe, the probe's like, I'm part of this partnership, man. Me and the Zealot, we're gonna kill you drones. We're gonna kill you lings. <laughs> I like it. I just love this partnership that shows up because the probe's like, my DPS is important here. It means the zealot. Oh, there's a lot of lings, though. Okay. Ur, busted his way out of that surround by killing that ling on the left side. But getting pinned against the Vespine Geyser. Bam. That was a good surround. And now you got to do it again. Zealots can be so dang slippery for Zerg players trying to surround it by slow lings. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> good stuff. All right, man. So this is all it's going to die. Like, I understand. He's juking and jiving like the best of them. It's like he's in freaking Top Gun Maverick. And he's in some dogfight. And he's trying to just, like, juke and jive in this way and that way and trying to avoid dying. But there you go. You're going to die. Too many lings. Like, just a good number of lings made here by Soxery. Got a lair coming up before the metabolic boost. He's going to send the lings across the map. So that's why a forge came up. And that's why a cannon's coming up behind the line here, too. Zealot's going to plug those holes. Probe for scouting information. I think this is what, that's what this probe is up to. Maybe heading on down to the south, possibly. Yeah, I think this is just a scouting probe to see if there's a hatch down here or not. Metabolic boost coming in with the second hundred gas. As we all know, nothing too crazy there. Cybernetics core coming in from Hero. Ooh, my brain again was like, Hero, that's a Zerg player. No, shut up, brain. Hero's a Protoss player today. See, he has the shield tag on him. That's how you know. That's how you know it's a different player. 
I don't know. They should have rules about this, man. If you're a professional StarCraft player, you should not be allowed to have the same darn name as another professional StarCraft player. And if you get in late and the name's already taken, too bad. Come up with a new name. That's all you gotta do. So, Lair finishing, and on the other side of things, it's a Stargate opening from our dude, Hero. No big surprise there. Not even close. Not even close to a surprise. This is an interesting Zealot timing, though. Look at this. Slow Zealots moving across, because there's not even a... No, no, there's no Citadel on the way, even, at this stage. So, these are slow, slow, slow Zealots, not even with speed soon. But I like it, because Zerg players feel pretty safe until that speed finishes. And having Zealots show up before then is like, hey, wait, what? Is that a... No, that's a hatchery, dude. Macro hatches. You know how Falcon loves a macro hatch. It's another macro hatch. Yes! Macro hatches make Falcon feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. It is a pleasant feeling. Because it means the Zerg player knows what they're doing, man. Zerg players that don't get macro hatches, I'm going to declare dumb. Upper... uh, <laughs> Upgrading air weapons here is Hero, which means it could be a lot of Corsairs. You know how Falcon feels about Mutalisks in a Corsair plus one opening. As this attack, the Zealots, the drones have to fight. More Lings come cruising in to try to shut it down. Some drones definitely dying here. 25 drones to 34 probes at this stage. The Lings forced to be produced, and these guys were holding the wall. But at some point, yeah. I mean, three links can hit you. That's going to be good enough. All right. So the Zealots get wiped out. Mm, 36 to 31. Workers here. Sox series macro has been pretty good. Corsairs are happening. And on the other side here, what is it going to be? Hydralisk Den? It's going to be Scourge. I'm okay with making Scourge. Scourge are great. Ooh, another macro hatch. Oh, Sox You know the way to my heart, mi amigo. Oh, that's so beautiful. More, more macro hatchery. Oh, evolution chamber. Dang it. More macro hatchery. No, nah, hydrolisk den. Darn it. <laughs> I'm getting greedy for macro hatches right now. Templar archives warping in from hero. Yeah, it's going to be Hydra. It's going to be Scourge to deal with the Corsair threat, which is going to be a big one because these are upgraded Corsairs. This is not two or three Corsairs hunting around for overlords. This is five, six, seven, maybe eight Corsairs with plus one attack. Scourge. Oh, they got one. Yay. Scourge got a kill. Not the greatest micro there. From Hero. Not even close. That's fine. He's got more Corsairs where that one came from. <laughs> Overlord spread is nice for vision, but like the Corsairs exist, so they're all going to die. I'm going to watch the supply blocking here from Soxry because this is going to be a lot of dead overlords. Oh, a nice DT coming in too. Out of Hero. Scourge, just hunting for Corsairs. It's not a ton of Scourge, just a couple here and there. Kind of like it, not committing a ton to them. Ling's getting early hits off on the Zealots to slow them down and make them squishier for when they come to deal with this whole sunken Hydra thing. And guess what? The Zealots have speed now and plus one attack. So it is time to attack something. The natural base, maybe... The third base, a good one to attack. Ah, they're coming through the door that's not protected by the Sunkins, but the Sunkins are hitting them anyway because they got to get in range of the drones to attack them. Worker count, 40 to 48 in favor of Hero right now. Lings and Hydras coming to reinforce, defend this base. No, the Hydras are not attacking with the Sunkins. The drones have to come in and fight too. They're messing up the targeting kind of... No, actually they're not. The Zealots are getting attacks off as much as they want. Gosh darn it, maybe not that guy, but there we go. They're all wiped out. DT at the front here. Were those Hydras? Yeah. There were some Hydras sitting there. That's weird stuff, man. It's all good. It's all good. 43 drones to 48 probes. Third base coming up. 12 o'clock. A Zealot is defending it. That's not very defensed. I feel like, yeah, a Ling Hydra attack wandering up there. Way is going to be completely going to shut that down. Uh... Expanding up here. I'm not sure this is going to work out for... No. No way. Not going to work out for you at all. Yeah, no. Just get out of here. That pylon's going to die. Corsair is hunting for overlords. They are hiding next to groups of hydralisks like this because they don't want to die. And Zealots are trying to save this attempt at a base up. Ooh, the DT's here too. Look at this guy. He's got th three kills. He's killing hydras.
Hmm. So Pylon dies. Third base attempt gets completely shut down. It was not adequately defended. There you go. See, Hydras are defending the Overlords and everything's okay. Almost supply block to Sox Tree. Three available supply here sucks. He's got to kill his own sunken to get out, which is annoying. And these eggs actually are going to be problematic too for getting units out of here. This macro hatch is actually not doing good things. It's blocking access from inside the third to outside the third. Huh. Okie doke. Okily dokily, Storm's on the way because what Protoss player doesn't research Storm in a PvZ? I don't know. Someone that doesn't know how good Storm is, and that player needs to learn how to play StarCraft, man. Oh, boy. Oh, already supply blocked because he made stuff. Now he's supply blocked because he's going to lose Overlords. Oh, this guy, too. Why are you here? Why would you come over here? Okay, supply block. Ow. Coming up the ramp. Storm exists, though! And there are zealots at the top of that ramp. No. No, not getting up there. That is a lot of Hydras, though. But no, the ramp completely equalizes the situation here. Got four cannons at the natural base. Mm. Remember when the Hydras were down here and they were rebuffing these Corsairs, but now they're gone? Man, these Overlords are dying. Why are you stacked, Soxry? No. Killer supply block. 54 available to 79 used. These Corsairs are getting work done, but you know what they're not doing? They're not killing the army. Right? They're not killing the army, and that's why I don't like Mutalisks. Oh, that skirt connection. Nothing. This DT wants to die. Not sure what he's up to. Right? That's why I don't like Mutas, because the army dies. Ooh, third base coming up. 12 o'clock. There we go. There we be. Another Overlord down. No supply block. Overlords have been made like crazy by Soxer over the last 60 seconds or so here. <laughs> uh, fourth base coming up. Bottom left. Lurkers. Yeah, Lurker Egg's coming up. That's what we like to see. Singularity charge for Dragoons to deal with the Lurkers. It's the dance. It's the flow of a PvZ thus far. Everything has been fine. Plus one Zealots with speed. Hydras, Lings, Lurkers, Dragoons in response. Storm in response. Trying to tech up to Hive to get Adrenal and get Defilers so Spellcasters can fight against Spellcasters. All's good. All's well here. This is very PvZ. This is how I would describe this game right now. That Zealot just ran into a million Hiders and died. I'm not sure coming up this ramp's going to work out for you either, hero. Thinking about it. <sighs> No, that is great Sim City. Yeah, he kind of poked and he's like, mm. he pokes again and he's like, mm. are you going? I would not go here. Not even close. Get some free link kills. Sure. Take some sunken hits. Sure. Okay. Storm in the top of the ramp is that was fine. High Templar got some kills. Ah, but the flank from the other side. That's an 8 kill HD, by the way. Lurkers. Good spread on these lurkers. Mm, still kind of wandering into Storm a little bit, though. So, yeah, lurkers dying all over the place. Mm -hmm -hmm. More reinforcing. Wow, it's a lot of lurkers, man. I love this from Soxry. This is what macro hatches give you, guys. Suddenly, you have 87 lurkers available. And the Protoss is like, what? Oh, boy. High Templar getting sniped on the retreat. Love that, Zerg players. Not as fast as the Zealots. The Zealots leave them behind. Leave them behind. Hive finishing up here from Soxry. This has been, you know, like I said, this has been very PvZ so far. Oh, are these bait? These are baitlings. Oh, no. Come kill me. And then guess what? A million Zerg is coming to kill you now. It was a trap the whole time. Zealots are like, oh, boy. We can't fight that. Run. Run, guys. You guys fight. You go to the corner. Maybe they'll forget about you. And they did. They did forget about you. These links are sticking around just in case, though. Ling says, fourth base coming up from hero left side. Yeah, probably. That's probably happening. Dude, this Corsair ball is just big and scary. Part of me is like, make more Corsairs. These are pretty effective, but I don't know. If you have too many Corsairs, then suddenly you don't have enough anything to deal with the million Hydralisks that exist on the ground, right? Why was there a probe down here? Why was there a probe death sound here? What the heck? 
Nidus Canal's on the way. We got ourselves... Oh. Adrenal finished. I think I saw that come through the production tab there. So that's huge. That's always a game changer. You know that. Every time a Zerg's involved, Adrenal is such... Such a fantastic upgrade. Another Overlord down. He's trying to hide behind the mini-map. No! Not allowed. Dragoon. See, more Dragoons because there are Lurkers out and Consume is not done yet. But there are Adrenal Wings, which is scary. Dude, these Corsairs are just kind of sitting here taking spore shots. Hooray, a spore! Hooray, spores are good. The Lings are like, I will fight you, Dragoons. I know it's one-to-one -one right now, and you have Storm and stuff, but I'll fight you all day. Feeling good about it. This Zealot's very brave. Oh, runs back into the Sunken and gets murdered. Yeah, and this group of lings goes up there. This zealot, man, he's living top right. That's good. That is helping establish. Yeah, Hero's trying to take these as his fourth and his fifth bases in the top right. It's so 163 to 131 supply. Protoss is up, but it's a stage of the game where there's a lot of ling lurker hydra. So I think Soxery's okay. Soxery's holding here. Plus, Dark Swarm just popped. So that's like an extra bit of okay that the Zerg is going to experience right now. Plague's getting research to additional melee attack upgrades. Kadaran Amulet on the way from the Protoss. Getting armor upgrades for his ground units. Everything is... Yeah, this is just great. Like, all the pieces. Ooh, robotic support bay, too. So nice. So we're getting all of the pieces. I think the Zerg player has all the pieces I want him to have except for drops, which... Nope, he's researching. That's it. Ah, uh, see, giant lurker ball. Ah, oh, but Dark Swarm changes it. I was going to say, the Dragoons will march through that. They feel pretty okay with it. But then Dark Swarm pops, and it's like, ah, Dragoons, get out. We have lost all of our viability. Oh, boy. Run. Okay, just chasing, chasing, chasing away with Scourge. It's cool. Totally fine. But, yeah, I just think for Zerg, the ingredients here are Cracklings, Hydras, Lurkers, Defilers with Plague, and Dark Swarm, and Drops, and Macro Hatches. So, like, six pieces, I think, for a Zerg player to be very, very successful in ZVPs. And on the other side for the Protoss, Dragoons, Zealots, High Templar, Corsairs, Reavers, right? Probably Archons is going to be the next mix there. High Templars and Reavers defending bases, which makes Dark Swarm attacks almost useless when you got Reavers and High Templar there. Six Storm again, Hero just absolutely... Yeah, his Storms have been impeccable today. Nice Plague there, though. Sick, sick Plague too. Spellcaster battles. Another Dark Swarm comes up. Another sick plague. Wow. Yeah, and against this gateway heavy composition that we're seeing, and by gateway I mean Zealots and Dragoons, Plague is going to be worth its weight in gold. Ooh, look at this Maelstrom getting researched. And a Dark Archon on the way. Okay, Hero's feeling in love with the Dark Archons today. I like it. Mm, that's two Overlords, man. Oh, the Scourge caught you! Ooh, nice. So three Corsairs go down there. I think maybe two. Oh, Storm Drop. Storm Drop. That's got to be a Storm Drop. Can't be Reavers. I don't think there are any Reavers yet. 63 drones. Storm Drop says... Oh, the drones evacuated. Get the ones on gas! So, like, two drones died there. Not the greatest of all time. Soxery's starting to think about picking up and establishing on the right side and the left side. 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Oh. Shuttle down. Dude, were there High Templar in there? I think there were. Okay, that sucks. Beautiful Scourge usage from Soxery, though. Luke, who's expanding, though. Top right. Taking that one, too. Hero. Just, you know, casually on five bases. Zerg player also on five bases. Not where Zerg player wants to be. Ooh, Dark Archon down. I don't think he cast any spells. Unfortunately, I don't think he had the energy for it. Maybe a feedback, but I didn't hear a feedback sound. 
Anyway, 186 to 163 supply. I think Zerg is okay at this stage. He is trying to expand over here at the 9 o'clock, but that is getting shut down by a Dragoon. And then the entirety of the Protoss army. They're all coming over here to kill this hatch. That's hilarious. So then Soxtree flanks them. Nice Lurker Spines, a nice Dark Swarm. Sick engage here. Oh, that is beautiful on the engage. The Dragoons probably just need to leave. In fact, everybody's leaving. Hero is getting repulsed by the Hydras and the Lurkers and the Lings and the Dark Swarm, especially. Observers, incredibly crucial here to making sure that these Lurkers die. And never mind, I thought Hero's going to pull back, but he's sticking in. Archon, Zealots, all that's left here to kill, I think, are eggs. Got one, but I mean, it takes so much damage. Might as well just pull back. It's easier to kill the Lurker. Leg up. Okay, so now Hero losing a ton of Zealots. These Adrenalings again. So, so, so key. 2-2 two, two upgrades on them as well. Yeah, 2-2 two, two Adrenalings at this stage of the game against Zealots that are at 3-1. Mm -hmm. The Lings are going to feel pretty good about that engagement. More Dark Archons in production. Two Reavers at a time being produced. Let's see if Soxtree can get this 9 o'clock position. 3 o'clock getting scouted quite nicely by a Zealot there too. Feedback! Yay! Kill! Dark Archon immediately gets a kill. Baits a bunch of Hydras into getting stormed and getting absolutely nothing done there. I think one Zealot died for a bunch of Zerg. 191 to 171 supply. I, I, Soxery has all the pieces he needs, but the economy is not great for him. That's the problem. Another drop heading down bottom left. Ooh, four High Templar in a shuttle. Run! Get out of here, drones! Ooh, Scourge, one hit on the shuttle. Okay. Uh, trying to set up... For oh, nice snipe on a Reaver there! Archon comes out. You don't want any of this smoke, Archon. Oh, yeah, dead Archon for sure. Mm, where are we going? We're flying right into a spore. Okay, so the shuttle dies. Two on load. Nice storm! All right, 49 drones remaining. The remainder of the army that was pushing the natural base of Hero for Sox Street gets up. Ooh! into this third base and there was a drop attempt up here too that i don't think went very well for the zerg player there's just chaos everywhere right now beautiful storm drop bottom left a failed attack at the top right this attack at the third base is going pretty well for the zerg player and by that i mean a zealot might completely shut all these plans down but that is a nexus that is very very injured and we're at the stage of the game where the Zerg player is able to send up lines of army units all over the place. And that's where Zerg player feels most comfortable. More Defilers, more Lurkers, more Shuttles, more High Templar. Few Shuttles have died here today. Okay, 9 o'clock base established. Done. No income coming to it from Sox Raid. That's okay. That's fine. It's doable, is what it is. Yeah, it's going to have to be a couple sunkens over here if you're going to keep this base alive. It is very close to Protoss territory. Yeah, this game's been very good so far. I think Heroes had command of it for the most part. But the fact that Soxery has this extra base over Hero is going to be really nice for him in the next few minutes. Another shuttle moving out. Couple High Templar in it. We know what that's for. Corsair Ball, not as big as it used to be. Only three remaining there, but that's okay. They can still do a lot of threatening. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so that shuttle gets an unload. Gets a decent storm. Ooh, this guy, though, four kills. Not too shabby. And he's got enough energy for two more storms as well. This right side setup is hilarious. A DT and a Zealot, making sure this never happens. Another storm drop. Gets a few more drone kills there. This guy, you have energy. Storm. Ow, he was trying to. He pressed the T button and he started the animation, but he died before he could complete it. That's I'm pretty sure that's what happened there. Brutal. Ooh, hello, Dark Archon. You have any more kills? Mm, just the one. Just the one feedback so far. That's cool. Ten overlords being produced at a time here. 
Uh, I don't know that you need that many, but you know, perhaps more overlords will die. Plague! Sick plague there again. Dark Archon not throwing any feedbacks down on that one. Another shuttle. Two more High Templar. Another storm drop. Oh, and by that I mean, be so careful. Shuttles are squishy, man. They're fast, but they're squishy. That's how StarCraft works. Fast units are squishy. Ooh, coming back in. The drones are like, no! Bad! Run! <laughs> Evacuate! That was pretty good drone control by Soxry, actually. Oh, and he's got the right side base here, too. Ooh, and that was the sound of that shuttle dying. Okay, so a lot of shuttles have died. A lot of High Templar have died, too. But look at this. 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock being taken. Big lurker defensive setup here by Soxry. Loving that. Okay. Soxry's in an okay spot. He's maxed out. I guess he's going to start developing a bank now. Hero needs to start being aggressive. I don't like the trajectory of this game for the Protoss at the moment. This is good, though. Archons, Dragoons, Zealots, Reavers, Dark Archons. It's good. Ah, Plague catching your Reaver. They're already kind of squishy. It's just getting close enough to hurt them is hard for a third player. Observer parks over. Sees the 3 o'clock base coming up. Nice feedback on that, Defiler. Sick. Lurkers, but no Dark Swarm here. Not that the Archons really care about that anyway. Dude, is this base just going to go down? Lurkers are... Oh, Hydra's popping out at just the absolute worst possible moment for them. Not to what you want to see. Trying to come up and save the day. Here comes Soxry's army, but storming this ramp is just going to... They're just going to get funneled in. Oh, coming from this ramp too, though. Dude, the storms everywhere. More... Oh, Ob's getting di uh, destroyed here. Shuttle's going down. All right, so Soxry saves it. He does lose some workers here, loses some static defense. But the hatchery didn't take that much damage, and that's kind of the big deal here, you know? Soxery heading up to this fourth base location in the top right. Storm defending, Reavers defending. This is going to be a tough, tough nut to break. Zealots and... Oh, boy. Zealots just going right after the hatchery. Okay, guys. You going to get it? Okay, cannon down. No Dark Swarm support. Not that it really matters because, again, is that another storm drop? It was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine drones dying there. Bottom left. The hatchery is it survives thanks to the lurker support but has only 400 HP on it, which is not great. And more drones are dying, dude. Soxer's only at 49 workers. He keeps trying. There's the Dark Swarm. He keeps trying to rebuild his economy, but oh, hang on. This is going pretty well for Soxer all of a sudden. Lurker's taking storms, but it's two storms to take down a Lurker, friends. There they are. <laughs> Reaver shots attacking nothing. That's what Soxer wants to see. Dude, this Nexus is dead. Oh my gosh, the wings chasing those probes up to the high ground, High Templar. 14 kills, 8 kills, 8 kills, 5 kills. Like, Reaver, this is the splash damage today has been so good from Hero. You can see why he made $500,000 playing StarCraft 2, right? If he's this good at Brood War, mm-hmm. He's just a great StarCraft player overall is what he is. So Nexus down, first uh, base down of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First dead base of the day, and it goes to Soxry. Okay, that's big, because double expanding while killing one of your opponent's bases is awesome. That is a way to win a game of StarCraft. And right now, I think Soxry economically is up. He's down in army value, but according to that top right bar. Hero says, I need to get up here. I need to kill a base in order to make it even. I don't know about coming up this ramp. Oh, and then the hard wall. Creep colony thrown up there. Maybe you can Reaver up. Uh-oh. Where are the High Templar? Where are the Reavers at this third base? Oh, uh, that seems pretty bad. Dude, the Scarabs are bouncing around. They're getting stuck on Reaver or on Zealots here. That's not good. Ah, uh, but the third. Okay, the third Nexus goes down to this Adrenal Ling attack. 
They got two attack and three armor. Very nicely done. Two bases are dead for the Protoss. One base does die for the Zerg, but that is a trade that can be afforded to be made here by Soxery. Ooh, good snipe on those Reavers, too. Good snipe on those Reavers, too. Loving that. Okay, so Soxery's all right, man. I know he's down about 30 supply and army value, but... Oh, that's a great flank attack, but Zealots and Archons. Tough for Lings to get a lot of value on. Good snipe on a High Templar there, too, though. Okay, rebuilding the third base. The fourth base can't get rebuilt because there's lurkers down here. Probes, long distance mining from the third base. That's a good source of income right now for the Protoss player who just doesn't have a ton of it. He's a, he's on one mining base right now. If this base had died already, that'd be it, man. That'd be it. Okay, so these lurkers get cleared out. Replacing the fourth base is going to be a thing. This DT gets surrounded. He's got one kill. I mean, it's not not really anything to write home about. Dark Templar, maybe you should have combined into a Dark Archon with a friend and got him some feedbacks off. Yeah, so double expanding to replace the bases that were dead here as Hero. Loving that. But man, Soxtry's replacing his third base, or 3 o'clock base. 9 o'clock base is here. Oh. These lings, can they kill these cannons down the nexus? No, too many zealots trailing the play. And the nexus doesn't take any damage at all. Scourge, oh. I think Scourge just wiped out a Corsair. Is that the sound? I don't know. Oh, what are these probes trying to do? Probes are doing a dance in here. I think they're just trying to get to the minerals, but man, pathing is dumb. Wait. Oh, they gave up. Oh, that's bad. It's like four probes not doing anything right now. I guess maybe move them down here to this fourth base. You can do that. 160 to 115 army supply. Dude, Hero is macroing his absolute face off. Six zealots at a time. Four High Templar at a time. More Archons getting added in as the Dark Swarm continues to be more and more oppressive. Good snipe on an OBS. Storms, plagues, storms, plagues. <laughs> storms and plagues and plagues and storms here. Oh, so much of the army is plagued. Dicey, dicey stuff. Mm, hero. Trying to make what feels like a game ending push in the bottom right here. Okay, Nidus Canal down. That's pretty good. Dude, the Spire is in danger. That'd be pretty nice for the OBS and stuff, but oh. oh. Ever seen a million Lurkers take down a Reaver? Now you have. Hydralisk Den is in danger here as well. Where is Soxry's army? They're kind of just split out all over the place. I guess that's a bunch of them that just died in Storm. So that's good. Oh, man. Yeah, Hydralisk Den dead. Natural hatchery dead. Macro hatches at the ma um, natural dead. Spire's in a lot of trouble. Lurker's nice. This is good block on the ramp by Soxery, but man. Ah, great storm. Waiting until the lurker eggs popped and then storming it. Fantastic. Spire gone. Hydralisk den gone. Oh, yeah. Coming up this ramp is really not a big deal. Yep, Lurker, d main base in an absolute ton of trouble. More units from Soxery trying to come down and stop this. But look at this, Zealots buffering for Archons. Big time hits, but no, suddenly the Zealots are gone and the Archons are in trouble against these Cracklings. Oh, there we go. Repositioning the Zealots in front of the Archons here. Exactly what you want to be doing here if you're the Protoss, and that was beautiful. Beautiful bloodbath there. Uh, spawning pool, taking direct hits from three Archons. Boah, 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 boah. Oh, dead immediately, almost. But, yeah. Adrenalings, Lurkers against unsupported Archons. Gonna do just fine. Nice snipe on those OBS, too. So Defiler Mound stays alive. Queen's Nest and Hive stay alive. Those are big. Those are big wins here from Soxery. Still down about 40, 50, 40 supply. What is Cannon attacking? Sometimes the cannon's attacking its own stuff, and it doesn't show up on the minimap as something being under attack, and it always freaks me out. So, replacement spire, replacement spawning pool, good, fine. Another defiler mound bottom, right? That's how important that is. He wants two of them. <clears throat> mm. 
More and more Archons in production. Ooh, a shield battery. Dude, this game has everything. This game has shield batteries and Dark Archons and Maelstrom and feedback in it. Ah, so good. Hero sharking around this left side, trying to see what he can do. But yeah, Lings against Zealot Archon are just not going to get a lot of value. That's not going to work out here from Soxery. Retreat. Retreat to the safety of a super narrow choke. Oh, Lurker, no. Yeah, see? Protoss rebuffed by the super narrow choke. Like, positioning. Positioning and chokes and ramps and everything is so, so important in StarCraft. More Dark Archons coming in. Shield upgrade on the way from the Protoss, too. Recognizing he's going to have a lot of Archons here. Yeah, Zealot Archon against Zergling is going to do fine. This is amazing. Four kill Archon, four kill Archon. Five kill Archon. This is a very strong attack. Supporting it with Storm just makes it that much the better. What? Heroes expanding center, everyone. He needs to. He needs to, and I, I concur. I agree with it. Bottom left, natural expand, gone from Soxery. Oops, center just got killed by a bunch of lings. Canceled, anyway. Okay, so maybe don't try to naked expand to the center on Fighting Spirit. Lurkers, Hydras, lings, trying to hold the ramp. This has been Hero's Nemesis all game. Is this concept of getting up a ramp with your chonky, chonky Archons. Your Zealots can kind of do it, but they're really susceptible to Lurkers. So it's not ideal. 146 to 89 supply. Hero is up. Hero's feeling good, but also mining out, right? Oh, that just mined out. This is mining out. He needs the center. I think that's it. I think he needs the center, and that's why he tried to expand there. But wiping out everybody says Soxtree was good, but Soxtree is at one, two, three mining sources of income right now versus the one. This is not math you want. This is not math that Hero can go with. Is that additional shield upgrade? No, that's still plus one. It takes forever to get plasma shields. We're rebuilding the Corsair count right now, which I find interesting. Nidusing his way to defend this right side base. Gotta love a good Nidus Canal. Really good Nidus Canal here. God, just Hero showing up with ill intent. And getting rebuffed by a ramp, effectively. It's not just a ramp. Ooh, free Archons. I mean, free Overlords versus Archons, though. Ah! Storm drop. Storm drop. I don't see any dead... Dr oh, the drones got airlifted to safety. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. I love that play from Soxry. Okay, center coming up. You just storm over. Why did you storm here? There's probes there. Whatever. Center coming up, man. Nexus right in the middle. The longer the game goes on, the more he needs this thing because the two left and right side bases belong to Soxry. Dude, put these to work. Soxry, fast. Do it. Oh, Soxry, what are you doing, man? You're defending this ramp is what he was doing with a zero kill lurker somehow being the linchpin of that defense. Okay, workers getting to work. He unloaded them and then it's kind of forgot they existed for a minute. Distracted. There's a lot of stuff going on in this game. This is amazing. I mean, for the Dark Archon feedbacks alone, we might just want to epic tag this thing. Crikey. Hey, Maelstrom! Oh, on the above ground lurkers. Yes. Oh, on a lurker. It's such a rare sight. Is Maelstrom on above ground lurkers. That was cool. Storm, 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 storm. 87,000th storm of the day. More Archons in production. Again, the Archon count's going to be awesome. 
Mass Hydra will deal with Archons cost for cost, but that's why you have your Zealots and your High Templar to temper those Hydras. It's tough. Could be a tough late game thing for Zerg to deal with. No, bad. DTs, buddies. Okay, that was, I don't know what that was. That was Hero being a little bit careless. We're 40 minutes into this game, all right? It's chaos is what it is. No Scourge. Two Scourge can't deal with seven Corsairs. Yeah, the rebuilding of the Corsair Ball is an interesting move here at 40 minutes from Hero. I gotta say. What? Arbiter Tribunal? Oh, right. Arbiter Tribunal on the way. Ooh, there's that sound. Oh, this the Maelstrom Storm combo. Plague catches like two Zealots. Fine, I guess. Fine, I guess. Dark Archon thought about doing something there. That's another Maelstrom. Oh, that sound is beautiful. Hydra is just poke your nose out and get it slapped. That's what's going on here. Plague Cat. Okay, one Zealot got caught. I was going to say that's the worst plague ever because it caught three Archons and nothing else, but it did catch a Zealot. I don't think the Zealot was previously plagued, but maybe not. <laughs> More DTs, more Lings. 175 to 133 supply. This is keeping Hero alive right now. Is he's mined out? This is his only source of income. So if he didn't have that, it'd be over. So that's why he took center. It was a desperation play from him. It was not a super confident play. Oh my gosh, that is one of the sicker plagues. That just plagues six Corsairs, man. Again, not going to kill them, but they're a lot easier for the Hydras to kill and Scourge to kill when that happens. Exactly what you want. More shuttles in production here. The Storm Drops have been pretty effective from Hero thus far, and I think he's going to keep going with that. And there was a moment I kind of felt like Ultras might be good in this situation, but... Nah, too many Archons. Archons are good against Ultra. Just big, big hits of just pure damage that negates a lot of the shielding and the armor that the Ultralisks have. These Lings are just trying not to die right now, but... Mm, not doing a great... Okay, but guys, you can't stop... All right. They were trying not to die, and then they gave up because this little pressure here from Hero is a big deal. Yeah, just storm, storm, storm. Consistently great play. Storms always on lurkers. Lings, hydras. Anything that runs up here. If they come in numbers, they get stormed. If they come two or three at a time, the Archons can handle them. It's beautiful. It's beautiful play here from Hero. He's up 200 to 139 supply. Wow. No, see, that's the power of Hydras versus Archons. See, but you come up in too many good numbers. Whoa, Hero decides he's going for it. Oh, man, that is such a beautiful sight, man. Archons in the middle of Dark Swarm. Just kidding, they're backing out. Oh, Dark Archon gets target fired there with Prejudice. And then the Hydras try to kill an Archon, and Storm comes in. Quachink, Quachink dead. Everybody dead. Ooh, that shuttle died. I don't know what was in it. I'm going to guess High Templar, maybe that guy, but he's dead too, so it doesn't really matter. So look, Soxray still mining. 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, bottom left, and the bottom left natural position. So income here for Soxray is very good. Once again, the ramp is the biggest nemesis to Hero in this game. He's tried to break... So many of Soxtree's ramps today, and I, he's been successful like once. I think this base is the time he was successful with it. And he did it a couple times, but it was still the same ramp. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, look, the Arbiter is here. And recalls. What? Recalls being researched. Yeah, I think Soxtree's okay with this third base dying. It's been mined out for an eternity. But yeah, look at this. Hero is in this game because this base exists. More DTs, more Reavers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Man, that is almost ASMR. I will just never get tired of the Archon attack sound. I don't know what it is. Nostalgia, I'm sure. Suxery moving out. Trying to just get a great position here. Ooh, those High Templar, great. Storms getting thrown, retreating, retreating, pulling back, pulling back. Okay, so the High Templar are dying for it, but they're taking a lot of Zerg with it. Look at that blood. Zergling, pull back, guys. Pull back to the Lurkers. You really don't want to be stuck engaging in here. Oh, look at that. Trying to kill another Dark Archon. Okay, kills the Dark Archon, but at what cost? A couple Hydralisks. That's probably fair. And, yeah, the big move out from Soxry needs to retreat. Needs to pull back to this bridge where the Lurkers are. They're just dancing, man. 140. Ooh, suddenly Soxry's a lot closer in supply than I thought it What The mind control's on the way. All right. This game's getting an epic tag. That's it. Getting an epic tag. Mind control maelstrom. Arbiters. Recall. Center base take... Yes, the ingredients are there. This is an epic game. Look at these lings. You can't see anything, boss. There's nothing for us to attack. <laughs> oh, another good Maelstrom there. God, so and the Archons mow through them. Play catching a Zealot and a bunch of Archons again. Playing targets in late game PvZ are not usually plentiful and awesome. Ooh, plaguing a Reaver is always a win, though. Always a win. Okay, more Arbiters in production here. Scarabs getting researched. 132 to 146 supply. Heroes up. He's got this contain on this bottom right-hand corner. Corsair Ball, still not bad. I mean, plagued half to death for sure. Good snipe on that Reaver. Ooh, feedback on a defi- Oh my gosh, and the feedbacks! And the feedbacks. Okay, once again, Hero is facing his greatest enemy. A ramp on Fighting Spirit. No, he's like, nah, screw it. Dude, he's mining out of the middle here, too. This is not good. This is not good for Hero, because look at all the mineral patches. Okay, let's check real quick. Oh, hold on. Actually, no. Actually, no. Okay, so, yep. Everything's going to mine out on the entire map here in about... Uh, five or six minutes, so around the... Look, it's another ramp. So what? Around the 53-minute mark, the map's going to be mined out. I think that's going to be the case. Dude, ramp wins again. Ramp wins again, but I, yeah, I just feel like... Ah! Big attack to the middle! While the army was getting defeated by a ramp from Hero, the Zerg army shows up. And says, center base dies. Again, there is literally like 400 minerals left at this base. Maybe six. Maybe 600 minerals at this base, but sure. Maybe he didn't have a chance to kill it before now because Hero was defending it so well. But if, I feel if Soxry had killed this earlier, because Hero's starving, right? If he kills it earlier, Hero doesn't have these 900 minerals. He doesn't have the ability to replace lost units, and Soxry does for a little bit longer compared to what Hero's able to do. But instead, this is almost mined out. Hero has gotten the value out of it that I think he wanted to. Dude, another Dark Archon down. All right. Ooh, Corsair's dying. Those largely, oh, Hydra Storm. Kind of work together to kill those guys. Dark Archons and Archons being protected by Dark Swarm. Not great. Oh, the flake attack from the backside. Gets a full surround on the units. No, the Lings are fast enough. And the Hydras can escape. Lurkers are not fast. They will not escape. But okay, these are this is some good value. This is some good value. And then no, just get out. Get out. Live to fight another day. Go sit on top of a ramp somewhere. Ramp, 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 ramp. <laughs> Ah, uh, Hero, he has to long distance mine from the center because what else is he supposed to do? Are you going to do any recalls? Did he get recalls because he figured he can't break the ramps? So dropping like over here and recalling would be a much easier thing to... I agree. I think that would be a great idea for him. Dude, this long distance mining is being allowed. Soxry, no. Soxry, don't do it. Don't allow... Oh, okay, well. He's allowing it.
Donating some lings to the cause here. Ooh, maybe getting a probe? No. Definitely not that. Well, now Hero's actually kind of protecting these efforts. Again, about 600 minerals left here at these minerals. So, so 51 minutes. I said 53. All the minerals in the map would be gone, right? This long distance mining is not as fast as, you know, regular base mining and stuff. So, might be a bit longer than 53, but I'm not feeling great about much longer than 53 minutes before all the minerals are gone. I mean, these... Yeah. Double-digit patches over there on the right. Like, that's not happening. Not happening, Captain. Just picking off a couple lurkers, backing out. That's all Hero's doing here. He recognizes... We're at the point where every unit matters. No one's going to get maxed out again. Not with the amount of money left on the field or the amount of money in these banks. No one's getting maxed out. So every unit matters. This scourging, the Scourge group really, really wants that Arbiter. They're pulling back. Soxery mounting a big time attack here. Trying to get into the center. Uh, Scourge, get the Arbiter. A little Hydra support. Go, a Stasis gets tossed down. First, we got Stasis, too. Oh, my gosh. This is insane. This is absolutely banana pants. Ooh, good ob snipe. I mean, not that that was hard, but... Ling Lurker push up the center here. Hero pulling back, pulling back. Storming to cover the retreat. This Lurker is very brave to be up in the midst of all that stuff. Nice Maelstrom again. But the Maelstrom wears off and the Hiders are able to escape. That's the trick about Maelstrom is. It holds them in position and allows you to do more damage to them. But there is no inherent damage in Maelstrom. You gotta be careful with that. So, alright. 200 minerals, 100 minerals here. Mind out 3 o'clock, mind out 9 o'clock. Bottom left is sitting here at about 200 minerals too. There's one drone working on that. God, there's the sound. This time, the follow-up storm damage is on point. This is amazing. Yep. So, like, sometimes I cast games and they're epic, but, like, the ending is an epic, right? So, I don't know how this game ends, but if it ends epic, it's going to be super ultra epic. I don't I don't know how to do that, but I don't know about this, Sox 3. There's so much storm. How many lurkers have died to storm today? 87,000. How many High Templar have died to things like Lurkers and Lings? 87,000, dude. Just stop getting baited into doing that, Soxery. Like, you just try to engage death. Death and destruction. Death to all things. Ooh, look who's long distance mining from here. That's right, Soxery is. So, 53 minutes. We're looking at about a total of 300 minerals left on the map. I'd say that counts as mined out. Effectively. Observer's like, hey, this is how we're sharing. We're sharing now, guys. Wait, no. Okay, run drones. Drones, run. Drones! Dr okay. You guys, back, back it up. Got... Soxery, what what are you do? What? Why? <laughs> All right, that totally sucks. It's not that the drones had much of Okay, you're still sending them into their devs. It's not that they have much value other than long distance mining from these mineral patches. So if they can't do that, I suppose they might as well be dead. Is that the whole mentality here? Boy. But again, seriously, this is an RJB replay. Check him out. YouTube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. Subscribe to him. Let him know Falcon sent you. 
If you like epic PvZs, I posted one of those about a week ago featuring Bisu and I think it was Larva. And it was great. Start to finish, man. That was an epic game. The ending was like fall out of your seat amazing. So if you missed that one, check it out. I've got a whole playlist dedicated to epic games, right? They have to reach a certain threshold to get there. But when they do, they make it onto the playlist. You can go right to my channel, youtube.com slash Falcon Paladin. On the front page, there's an epic playlist available. You can see the latest one, which is this one. You can see ones going back. I think there's about 50 games in there that have reached the epic of the thousands that I've cast on the channel so far. So there's the threshold here. And yeah, if you want to support the channel, you can do it at patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin for as little as $1 a month. There's different tiers there too. Here on YouTube for as little as two bucks a month, different tiers available, right? And uh, yeah, I've got about 150 members right now. A lot of those are gifted memberships from people like Lex and Manau. Manau is a German subscriber who's a member of the channel at the Overmind level and an amazing supporter of the channel. He's gifting subs like crazy during the Sunday streams. If you're missing the Sunday streams, if you show up, there's a pretty good chance you'll get a gifted membership these days. I'm just saying. Really, really good chance. Then you can, can, can get a gifted membership and see what all the fuss is about. And if you just want to do one-time donations, you can do that by clicking the Super Thanks button down below. Mind Controlling an Overlord is super awesome. Detection. Transportation. Tankier than an OBS, too. Oh, man. Overlord and Protoss's hands is strong. So, yeah, Super Chat, one-time donation. If you don't want a recurring subscription thing, which I totally understand. People don't want that. And some people do. Some people don't. Right? It's preference. And then the final thing is just PayPal. Nice mind control on that Hydralisk. If you go to PayPal, my donation address is just falconpaladin at gmail.com. Dude. Mind controlling a lurker so his friends kill him. So brutal. So... All right, look, at this stage of the game, I think we're mined out. That's it, right? Nothing down here, nothing here, nothing left side, nothing right side. The money we have exists. That's it, man. Socks are down to 21 minerals. Can't build anything with 21 minerals, man. God, good storm on that defiler, too. So here's the thing about Hero, right? Hero has storm, he has feedback, he has mind control. And he has Maelstrom, all of which, oh, here we go, are incredibly useful tools for killing enemy units. And they're free, right? You use Storm, you don't have to pay to make more Storm. If there were Reavers here, they'd be really bad, super late mind out game units because you have to pay for the new Scarabs to be produced. Storm, no. Feedback, no. Maelstrom, no. Mind control, no. All of that is free, okay? Whereas the Zerg, yeah. Defilers, technically their energy is free, but all you can do is Plague and Dark Swarm. That doesn't kill anything. That doesn't kill anything. Maelstrom on Scourge, see? I mean, Maelstrom doesn't kill anything either, so it's in the same book, in the same, in the same box, right, as Dark Swarm is. So I'm not going to say that's incredibly important here, but the mind control is... That's an instant kill on anything. And the storm is because that is doing tons of damage. And most anything Zerg in the game right now is going to die to one or two storms. Sunkens are a bit of a problem for this army because none of those things, Mind Control, Maelstrom, Storm, can do anything to Sunkens. Why are you... Soxry hates his drones today? I'm trying to figure out what this is exactly. They're... Save them. Save your drones for, like, some big last hurrah attack, you know? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, mind control lurker. Oh, this guy escapes. Oh, and he just baits some lings in here to die for nothing. See? He gained a lurker. That's so cool. He gained a lurker. <laughs> uh, killed a couple lings and hydras there. The trades are good. 64 to 60 total supply. Hero has more probes than drones exist, but still. Why is Hero pulling so far back? 
I guess energy levels are low on his Dark Archons. Oh, he just picked one up. He did. He just picked up a Dark Archon with a mind-controlled overlord. That is so cool. Yeah, man. This game gets epic tagged. I don't care. It's epic tagged. We didn't get any recalls, which I'm a little bit disappointed by, but we got stasis. I mean, how rare is stasis against Zerg? I can think of about two or three games I've cast in my casting career where stasis has been used against Zerg. It's rare. And it's very cool. It's also very cool. Like, all this stuff is very, very cool. So, I don't know. I don't know what Soxtree's plan is. He doesn't have the insta-kill thing. If he gets to another Overlord mind controlled, if he gets too close to these guys, he gets stormed. He gets lurkered now, which is hilarious. Nope, you get maelstromed and then stormed. Ready for this? That was massive. That represented so much of Soxtree's army right now. Soxtree's army right now is like a three hydras dude and a butt ton of lurkers that's nice it's nice to have the lurkers but you can sneak up to them and mind control them one by one by one with the mind control and the dark archons does it take forever yes energy regeneration takes forever and it takes all the shields away from the dark archons so they're squishy but i don't know the range on that thing is good enough this is This might very well be the only game I've ever cast where mind control was the game winning mechanic. Like, was the game winning mechanic. Partially because we don't see Dark Archons very much, and even rarely we see mind control. Because if we see Dark Archons 99 times out of 100, it's for Maelstrom. Not really for the mind control, but the fact that we got it today is so amazing. Yeah, this might this might be the only time I've ever cast a game where mind control is what wins the game for the Protoss. The end. That's it. Not that it's the only time that's ever happened in the history of StarCraft, because that's ridiculous. But on my channel... And again, I just... Mind controlling these overlords is so good. They're so much better than observers. When they've got, especially when they have the transport upgrade, they're so, so much better than observers. I mean, at this stage of the game, especially when the Hydra count is like three. Yeah, look at this. We are just, we are stacked up in here. I lied. There's more Hydras here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. All right, fine. Nine Hydras. A little bit scary against this army. That's why they're Storm. Dude, full energy High Templar. 250 Kadaran Amuleted High Templar. No. Okay, so, yep, so two of the Dark Archons have enough energy for mind control. One of them is very close. Do we bother with that Overlord? Doesn't seem like we're going to bother with this Overlord. We've already got an Overlord. It's very cool and everything. I'm just going to kill that one. Not that it really... I mean, it provides scouting value for the Zerg player. So killing it is good. <laughs> this lurker. Man, I sure love all my Protoss buddies all of a sudden. They're the best. Can't ask for better friends in the whole world. That's right, lurker. You be best friends with these guys. <laughs> And you have a deep abiding hatred of Zerg right now for reasons you can't understand or fathom because you're just a lurker. You don't have higher cognition processes in your brain anyway. Right? Are you seriously coming over here? Why are you coming over here? Oh, to mind control lurkers! Ah ha ha ha! Dead. <laughs> and dead! See? Do you see what I mean about the mind control insta kill thing? This guy's like, whoa, I saw what happened to my buddies. Pull back. Pull back. I like how this guy is still not burrowed. Like, Hero doesn't know how to use lurkers. He's like, it'll be fine unburrowed over here. Just burrow the guy. I guess maybe he can run easier if he's above ground, but whatever. Yeah, Soxery's just like, this is where I live. Come get me. Ooh, found a spot where you can take down a Nidus without taking sunken hits. That's fun. 
The goal of StarCraft is to kill all of your opponent's buildings. So killing buildings is great. <laughs> I mean, there are so many more buildings to kill. But you gotta start somewhere. Don't lose a don't lose a dragoon to a sunken bad. Bad hero. Don't go up there. Don't go up there with Yeah. With dragoons, man. I'd feel better about the Archons. They are they're chunkier. They have more more shields. So it's 3-3 three, three with one plasma shields for ye old Protoss right now. 3-3 three, three for the Hydras. Ah, oh, only 2-3 for the Lings. If the Lings had plus three attack. There'd be more of them. They'd still be alive. They wouldn't be as dead. I mean, it doesn't really help them against Storm, but whatever. Yeah, see? Friendly Lurker. Friendly Lurker Sam over here. Boy, my Protoss friends are so great. I love hanging out with them and killing Zerg. It's the best. Another... Okay. Hero spends some of his remaining cash on another Arbiter. Coming in. Yeah, see? I don't... You're going to lose something here. Zell it down. See? I don't like using... But you have to use the real units to kill the Sunkins. Because as I said, the infinite spell abilities can't do anything about Sunkins. So had to do it. Had to make that choice. Ooh, these guys feel like they're going to get mind controlled real soon. Mm, almost enough energy for mind control. Almost. Very close. And bam. Enough energy for mind control. Lurkers pull back. They're like, ah, crap. We saw what happened to our buddies over here. We don't want that to happen to us either. Overlord comes in, says, where are your Hydras? Not here anyway. Mind controlling a Hydra. Sure. Again, in a game where units are not reproduced, killing something is a massive win. That Overlord dying was big too. Hero is getting a lot of good value out of that. Oh my gosh, bait. Just get baited into... <sighs> Hydra count. Three. Three. This is tough. This is the toughest thing. Okay, good. okay. I guess we live in this corner now. Sure. So this is where the... You can move up the ramp at this stage. The Zerg is not protecting it at all. That's what the observers can see. He's like, is it a trap? If I go up there, will I get ambushed? And the observers are like, nah, man, there's nothing up here. Seriously. But where'd the army go? Oh, they're getting loaded into overlords. I like it. Maybe, ooh, maybe go for a drop in the main base of hero, force him to respond to it. Maybe initiate a base race? I'm not, you know, maybe he would win a base race. Because, like, High Templar and Dark Archons suck at killing buildings. Instead, I think he's just going to make his final stand here because he has a million Sunkins at this 9 o'clock spot. Mm, do not lose observers to spores. Pro tip. Look at this little family photo we have here. Everybody looking nice. All tricked out in their Sunday best. Looking intimidating and scary. I still love that Dark Archons in the remaster have a stick body. Like, Dark Ar like Archons have bodies. I don't know why Dark Archons have stick bodies. Whatever. Look at this lurker. He's like, yeah. Take that hatchery. Boy, do I hate Zerg things. Hey, Protoss buddies, could we go get milkshakes after this game? <laughs> that would be fun. So here's our problem, right? Killing buildings. And this base is a tough nut to crack if you don't have good building killing units, right? There's four sunkens. And a Lurker covering this ramp. There's three Sunkins and, like, this Sunken kind of covering this ramp with Lurkers behind it. Ooh, got some Korean out. If you can translate the Korean for me, I'll pin your comment. Where my lens at? Lens, lens, lens. Lens, lens, lens. Thought I had Google Lens. <laughs> there's lens okay next time next time there's a comment I'll see if I can translate it on the fly with Google lens see that sunken is a problem whatever spire's gonna this matters the only thing that matters is this 
If Soxray can defend that, if he can convince Hero to come up here and lose some important stuff like like Dragoons. Oh, he mind controlled the Overlord. Detection was gone. Oh, that's good stuff. No, the words went away too fast. Lens. Yeah, that was great. So he takes away the only detection. You can break through the big line. Okay. Yay, look at this translating we're getting. Hooray. No, but keep doing it. Overlord pokes in, sees what's going on. Hero has a thought about this. <laughs> That's not going to translate. Arbiter providing cloak. Maybe a stasis. Maybe a recall. Like, back to this corner would be cool. Yeah, this is really intimidating to try to break into here. Oh, hallucination. Are you kidding me? Hallucination here to take all the damage. And the real Dragoons can do the damage. Oh, that's so good. How much energy? Oh, that Zealot's going to die. Why'd you go in there, guy? I didn't need to. Oh. And this game has hallucination. I am... Oh, mind control to Lurker. Lurker count whittling down here. Oh. Looks like as I would win in the end, says Hero. This is good. Google Lens translating is cool. On the fly. Dude, Google's amazing. We live in the future. We really do. The translation capabilities alone are fantastic. Is it perfect translation? No. But it's amazing. Oh, hallucinated. Hallucinated Archons here. Bam! And that's it. Soxry taps out and Hero is our winner. In an hour and 12 minutes. What a genius move. What a genius move. Remember, I was like, there's not enough attacking things to deal with this many Sunkins, but you you hallucinate a ton of Archons, get them up here, tank all the damage, bring some Dragoons over, bring your Lurker over, bring your Archons over. You can break this. It Probably a slow process, right? You have to wait for enough energy for Hallucinate. I love that the High Templar were like, our Storm is not as effective here, but Hallucinate is still a, an option. That's great. That is so, 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 so good. Yeah, that that is epic. That is an epic game with spaces in between the letters and the word epic, so you know how epic it is, because that was a Gosu killer move at the end. To be like, hallucinated Archons, tank the damage, we kill the Sunkins piece by piece, we slowly dismantle what Soxery's got going here, and Hero takes it. Yeah, that was epic. That was epic as all get out. I... I I am so impressed by Hero in this game, winning it. There was a time I felt like Soxery was way ahead. When he had the left and the right bases, and the center did not belong to anybody yet. And but Dude, the use of the storm, the use of the mind control, the maelstrom. The storm especially, <laughs> the Archons, the Zealots, the Dragoons. I just feel like the trades were good all day here from Hero. There were a couple engagements that maybe didn't go his way, but for the most part... Most part, thumbs up. <sighs> so good. I need to see what that final, what that final parting message was here out of Soxery. So stick with me on a super fast forward. Do, 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 do. It's all fast forwarding from here. It's really not bad. The fast forward feels kind of clunky, but whatever.
I think I won. Seems like a draw, but it's Arbiter. You can break the line, the big line at 9 o'clock. Okay, so that's what that conversation was. We know that one. We're going to speed it up because we've got some time to get to that final conversation. Hold up, hold up. More translations. Let's get it. Uh, do you want to penetrate 100, like a billion? I will go. Oh, says Hero. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dragoons do their thing and then is that it as if i'll win in the end says hero what i don't know if tone is translating properly there if that means he's confident or if he's not confident because the way i'm reading it okay and this is the final thing what does that say why well, want to translate this last thing for me it says support sound <laughs> support sound is sound a player why would that be the final ma i don't understand what you're saying Soxry. maybe someone can help me with that maybe rjv knows what support sound would mean in that context anyway so cool like this whole thing was ah genius this is like the coolest game i've cast in a very long time i don't think it's as good as ones where the protoss mind controls an army and gets their own personal like guardians and stuff we see that quite a bit in fastest maps on the sunday streams but yeah i i <laughs> mind control maelstrom hallucination Stasis Arbiter play. Arbiter play. Like, what else do you want from a game of StarCraft? That was insanity. I'm almost speechless with this one. 480,000 points from Sox 3, 469 from Hero. Another time the losing player has a higher score. Three to one kill death ratio for Sox 3, but. A 3 to 1 kill death ratio for Hero 2. So that tracks. That's why this game was so close. Structures raised, 46 to 42, which is fun. And then resources here. Soxry did outspend the Protoss, but only by about 11,000. Wait. 10, 12,000. About 12,000 resources, but in an hour and 12 minutes, in a game where Fighting Spirit got mined out, you guys. It needed to be more. I just... Soxery, I feel like... If he could have been a little bit more careful in some of these engagements and not lost nearly as many Hydras to Storms, he didn't try to dodge at all. Maybe do a better job splitting his Lurkers in general. Maybe get some kind of an attack into that center base of heroes before he effectively mined the whole thing out. The battle for the center was everything. If Soxery could have maybe shut it down earlier in that mining out process, he could have won this game. But he waited too long. By the time he took it out, it was basically done. Hero had that cash. So. There you go. All right. So that was an incredible, incredibly epic ZVP. Thanks again for RJB for sending it to me. Oh. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the game too, because that's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.